Assalamu alaikum everyone, who are you? Hope you all are fine. So today we have a very interesting topic of management that is decision making. Let's start. What will we we'll discuss today? Uh, introductions, decision making process, and manager roles as decision making. It's a very simple stuff. So listen it very carefully. Decision making is an essential aspect of modern management. It is primary function of manage. Decision making is a key part of manager's activities. Decisions are important as they determine both managerial and organizational actions. A decision may be defined as a course of action which is consciously chosen from among a set of alternatives to achieve a desired result. A decision may be defined as a course of action which is consciously chosen from among a set of alternatives to achieve a desired result. It re represents a well-balanced judgment and a commitment to action. A decision is a conclusion of a process by which one chooses between two or more available alternative courses of action for a purpose of attaining a goal. According to Peter Drucker, whatever a manager does, he does to decision making and simple. A manager has to take a decision before acting or before preparing a plan for execution. Moreover, his ability is very often judged by the quality of the decisions he takes. Thus, management is always a decision making process. It is a part of every managerial function. This is because action is not possible unless a firm decision is taken about a business problem or situations. Definitions of decision making The Oxford Dictionary defines the term decision making as the action of carrying out or carrying into effect. According to the Verda and Newport, Decision making involves the selection of course of action from among two or more possible alternatives in order to arrive at a situation for a given goal. Our next topic is the decision making process. What is decision making process? True decision making is typically described as choosing among alternatives. Although decision making is typically described as choosing among alternatives, that view is too simplistic. Why? Because decision making is a comprehensive process, not just a simple act of choosing among alternatives, even for something as straightforward as deciding where to go for lunch, you do more than just choose burgers or pizza. Granted, you may not spend a lot of time contemplating the launch decision, but you still engage the steps in the decision making process. What does the decision making process involve? Decision making involves a number of steps which need to be taken in a logical manner. This is treated as rational or scientific. The scene making process, which is lengthy and time consuming. Such lengthy process needs to be followed in order to take rational scientific results orienting the scene. The scene making process describes some rules and guidelines as to how a decision should be taken made. This involves many steps logically arranged. It was Peter Duggar who first strongly advocated the scientific method of decision making in his world famous book, The Practice of Management, published in 1955. Dr. recommended the scientific method of decision making which according to him involved the following 
six steps. What necessary steps comes under process of decision making? The first one is defining, identifying the managerial problem, analyze the problem. Third one is developing alternate solutions. Fourth one is selecting the best solution out out of the available alternatives, converting the decision into actions, and ensuring feedback for follow. These are the six steps that comes under process. The CM making process. Here is an image. First one is identify the problem, analyzing the problem, developing alternative solutions, selecting the best solutions, Convertizing the CM into actions, follow up of action sequence. These are all steps come under the CM making process. Identify the problem. What is identifying the problem? Identifications of the real problem before a business enterprise is the first step in the, is the process of the CM making. It is rightly said that a problem well defined is a problem of salt it's a very important line it is rightly said that a problem well defined is a problem all solved information relevant to the problem should be gathered so that critical analysis of problem is possible this is how the problem can be diagnosed clear distinction should be made between the problem and the symptoms which may cloud the real issues. In brief, the manager should search the critical factor at work. It is point of which the choice supplies. Similarly, while diagnosing the real problem, the manager should consider cause and find out whether they are controllable or uncontrollable. The next one is uh, analyzing the problem. After defining the problem, the next step is or in the decision making process is to analyze the problem in depth. This is necessary to classify the problem in order to know who must take the decision and who must be informed about the decision taken. Where the following four factors should be kept in mind. Futurity of the scenes, the scope of its impact, number of qualitative considerations involved, and uniqueness of the decision. Collecting relevant data. The next point is collecting relevant data. After defining the problem and analyzing its nature, the next step is to obtain the relevant information about data about it. There is an information flood in the business world due to new developments in the field of information technology. All available information should be utilized, utilized fully for analysis of the problem that brings clarity to all aspects of the problem. The next step is developing alternative solutions. After the problem has been defined, Diagnosed on the basis of relevant information, the manager has to determine available alternative course of actions that could be used to solve the problem at hand. Only realistic alternatives should be considered. It is equally important to take into account time and cost constraints and psychological barriers that will restrict that number of alternatives if necessary, group participation techniques may be used while developing alternative solutions as depending on one solution is undesirable. The next point is selecting the best solution. After preparing alternative solutions, the next step is the scene making process is to select an alternative that seems to be a most rational or solving the problem. The alternative thus selected must be communicated to those who are likely to be affected by it. Acceptance of the decisions by group members 
is always desirable and useful for its effective implementations. Converting decisions into actions. After the selection of the best decisions, the next step is to convert the selected decisions into an effective actions. Without such action, this decision will remain merely a declarations of good intentions. Here, the manager has to convert his decision into their decisions. Through his leadership for this, the subordinates should be taken in the confidence and they should be convinced about the correctness of the decisions. Thereafter, the manager has to take follow-up step for the execution of decisions taken. Ensuring feedback. Feedback is the last step in the decision making process. Here, the manager has to make build in arrangements to ensure feedback for continuously testing actual developments against the expectations. It is like checking the effectiveness of follow up players. Feedback is possible in the form of organized information, reports, and personal observations. Feedback is a uh, necessary to decide whether the decision already taken should be continued or be modified in the light of change conditions. So our next topic is the managers as decision making. Being a managerial role usually requires prompt decision making. Decision making process is a process by which managers respond to opportunities. It's the process by which managers respond to opportunities. Threats. Analyze all the available options and make a sound decision, which is commensurate, commensurate with goals of organization. The decision taking has decided the future, the further course of action. Decision making is one of the core responsibilities of the manager's job. There are other responsibilities as well, which usually involve problem solving and work distributions. A manager must make informed decision based on his expertise, technical knowledge, and experience. Manager use a wide range of decision strategies often changing these strategies from one situation to the next. The strategies lead to a wide variety of choices of varying equality. Depending on the decisions being made, managers are equipped with a number of useful techniques for diagnosing problems, clarifying values, and goals. Structuring and modeling decisions and gathering useful information. The three kinds of managers' roles include interpersonal, informational, and decisions. What comes in interpersonal, which includes figureheads and leaders. Informational, who receive and disseminate critical information. Decisional, who initiate activities, handle disturbances, allocate resources, and negotiate conflicts. Decision made by top managers commit their total organizations toward a particular course of action. Decision made by the lower level management managers implement the strategy, strategic decisions of top managers in the operating areas of the organization. Top managers make category two decisions. Operating managers make category one decisions, while the middle managers surprise the making of category 1 decision and support the making of category 2 decision. The success of the decision take is a function of the decision quality and the decision implementations. Thank you.